Hello guys, welcome back to more Pez 6, the Liga Challenge today. This is another free grueling match is coming up for you today. And uh, the first one is Deportivo, which is fixture 10. Look at this, it's rainy and it's depressive. Let's turn it into a win. Turn it into something positive, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, um, everything's going great. That's all I can say, really. Uh, we are two ahead of Madrid in the league and we've got to keep that ball rolling. Um... It's one of these things where it's like, I go, I talk about Barca, Barca and Madrid a lot, I know that, but it's like one of these things where you could beat them both, both times during the season and still lose the league. It's just, just it's just as simple as that, really. Going to be in the black kit today. Uh, went with that over the orange, even though I maybe prefer the orange, I don't know. I thought we haven't played in the black one yet, I don't believe, so there's that. Um, other than that, Angulo and Morientes are up front. Uh, David Villa, this is what I said, I think I said it at the la back end of the last episode, that this is probably part of the season that we're maybe going to hit, because the team has been rested pretty well up to now, with uh, stamina, you know, we, we take that into account, but it's getting to a point now where we've like we've rested for the Barca and the Atletico game, and now the energy levels of the team are just taking a huge hit. So uh, we've got one of our defenders out for this one. David Villa is sitting on the bench, which I did. I just mention that I think I did. Um, so that's pretty much it. David Villa, though, I just want to say like. We, I talk about him a lot, but it's like he's not really been there much, and we're still winning. So that can only be a positive, right? He, he, like, he's, he's been playing, but he's not really been doing an awful lot during those matches. So, yeah. Um, other than that, we've got... Is it Celta coming up in this episode? And Zaragoza as well. So, yeah. I think Zaragoza's next, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Silver is starting this one. I know a lot of people will be like, Yay! Silver's starting! Good stuff! And, yeah, that is good stuff. Because he's been absolutely amazing in this si this series. Uh, Morientes there just didn't know what he was doing with himself. Um, so yeah, he's going to start this one. Uh, I think Joaquin's on the bench, I want to say. And Vicente, even though he should play left side, has gone on to the right. So that's only because Joaquin's missing. So, but he is on the bench, is Joaquin, if we need him. How is that not a corner? I don't know. Uh, this is the full game of this episode, though, against Deportivo. So, uh, yeah. It's so far, it's turned out that the, the matches we've chosen for the full uh, match have always been, like, the first one of each episode so far, I believe. So, uh, maybe we'll get one that's not soon i don't know <laughs> it will always be the same oh vicente with a chance there that wasn't even meant to go through to him it was meant to go wide which cutting in on that side oh just when you think somebody's going to get onto the end of the ball that uh, it doesn't quite happen this is hit this is booted by the keeper and gulu can't get in there Gulu, Gulu, Gulu. I'm still getting it wrong at this point. Here is uh, Pablo. Oh, Silver's in there. Oh, he's won it back. Nicely done. It's Barraja. It's going out to Vicente. Here's Raul Albiol, who's uh, playing this game today. That is an offside by Vicente, apparently. Didn't initially look like it. So I was worried about the Atletico game because honestly, I thought we were kind of, I don't know, that you could see the energy levels taking its toll. Like we, we didn't seem as quick as we usually are when we're on the ball. So that's kind of a thing. Here's Barraja. He is one-on-one. -on -one and... Should have taken the shot. I was honestly thinking, you know what, this, is this guy quick enough here? Can he get round this keeper? And honestly, he was not. We've got some trouble to deal with here, though. Barrage really should have... I mean, you can say, oh, he should have shot. It's still not guaranteed a goal. You know, that's how it is. I think that's an offside by Morientes. Oh, that is so unfortunate. 
If it was just timed a little bit better. We seem to have the right idea. Here's Barraja, here's Angulo, here's Morientes, it's Moriente. Maybe should have played it a little bit earlier than that. Not even going to pronounce some of their <laughs> uh, team player names. Oh gosh, that's bad, almost. That's going to go into the path of Angulo, apparently. And a free kick is given for that. We're actually approaching half time here. This is very tempting to go for it because it looks pretty decent. Oh, Barrage always gets it wrong. He always puts that little bit too much power on it. He does. He always does. Oh, that nearly could have gone through to Morientes. Raja's doing pretty well though, he's won the ball back yet again here. Here's Angulo. Yeah, he's got the touch wrong. Got it all wrong there. Captivere here. Oofed. Yeah, that is. Diego Tristat, wow, that brings back memories. Man. Just so, like just playing in a different league alone just brings back so many memories of stuff. I think Morientes is not going to get to that. That's going to be half time here. A little bit worrying because, to be honest, we've made some good efforts but not good enough so far. Here's Del Horno. He's just going to have to whip this in. Oh, that is so unlucky. Belda can't get to the ball. There. That is half time. We've hit the frame of the goal. We've got to be better in the second half. We are trusting the team for now. We are not going to change anything. I think we've played well enough to deserve a goal. We just don't have it yet. And that's all I can say. And here is Del Horno. Doesn't have the most pace in the world. But... Oh! Oh! That is just, we are getting very unlucky in this one. It's Colacini, what a ledge, what a ledge. But it's not about that today. That's why, maybe that's why we're struggling, because Colacini is such a ledge, you know what I mean? Probably why. We have to sort of get something going from this attack, potentially. Nope. Wanna be wide. Wanna be wide. Here's our Albiol. Yikes, that's kind of kind of dangerous. Oh my. What? Oh, that was coming into the box, that one. Morientes was getting in there for it, and what is happening here? Okay, and there's just seems some mix-up with the ball there. It's Cap de Vier. It's going to out wide to God knows what his name is. Not going to even pronounce that one. Not going to pronounce this guy's name either, but oh my God, he might score. Jesus. Okay. That's bad. That is bad. I can see he's conceding here because we're being so sloppy. Oh no, don't script this or something. Please don't script that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I think Morientes are going to have to come off. I'm not impressed with him today. Angulo seems to be trying. Oh my. We are really having a bad day here. Um... Via are going to come on for Morientes, Joaquin on for Silva. I think Silva's done alright, but we need some extra firepower here just for these last, like, I don't even know what we're on now. 25 left. Time is running out. Just one goal. We'll do it. Oh. That's one of the Deportiva players had his hands up there. I'm not sure what it was regarding. 
It is Navarro for us, so I believe has replaced somebody. I don't remember who it was. It was in the defence. And this could be it. Oh, it's cleared away from the line. It was close. Barraja. He needs some support here. Can he find it? He kind of does. Oh, and that pass doesn't make its way through. That's fine for now, though. Here's Raul Albiol, who's going to have to pick out somebody in the box. Oh, Vicente. He's gone back onto the left. He's going to have to pass back. There's no way about it. It's going to have to be... And here's a good opportunity. Oh, it's got to go for the court. We are trying. There's no doubt about it. We are trying. And that's going to go off target. I don't... I don't want to change anything. Don't want to. Zangulo. It's David Villa. He's making a run. It's Villa. He's done well. He's done well. He's going to lose this, though. Just running out of, I don't know, ideas when we have the ball that far forward. This is pretty good. Here's Angulo. He's found something. No, oh, that's oh, it's it's like we're nervous and it's showing in the passing and whatnot. You know what I mean? Please, don't tell me we're gonna drop two points today. No, don't let game ten be it. Come on, ten out of ten. That's what we wanted, right? And David Veer, please Veer, do your magic. Do your magic, Veer! Yes! Oh, thank God. We were talking about how we didn't need Veer. And then he does that. Well, not so much how we didn't need Veer, but more or less like how he's not... He's playing, but he's not really showing up much, if that makes sense. So you're showing Barrage how you do it there. Text this, and he's got to, once he gets round the keeper here, the angle is far too tight to shoot. If he shoots right here, he's going to miss that. Well. I mean, it's possible he might not have missed it, but it was more, it was more safe to stop, turn towards goal, and then shoot. He just had enough time before the defenders could get back. Um, this has been a tough away game so far. It's not over yet. In fact, we still have one sub we can use. That's fine. Oh, that's not going anywhere, that. Oh, nice tackle by a Belder there. No. God, no. Just please. 45 plus on the clock here. Please, no. Just no. Just clear anywhere. That'll do. Don't care. 1-0. V is a legend. Thank God. <laughs> so maybe a little bit dodgy there because obviously we put Navarro in here and we rested I can't remember his name now. I will get back to you on that one. But, um, yeah, we did rest there. We did put Silver in. We, did, we didn't start B because he needed um, some rest. I mean, he only came on for around about the last 20 minutes or something. Uh, Abeld was the man of the match today. Uh, was it was it Barraja who had that glorious chance to take it around the keeper? He opted to do it. It didn't work out. It doesn't always work out. Their goalkeeper actually got a 7. 
In fact, he was the highest rated of anybody to do, and he was on the losing side. So, yeah, but Albelda apparently got him the man of the match. So, yeah, that's that. So, our next game is against Saragoffa, and I've had to recover just a little bit. It's still raining here in Spain. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what it is. And uh, Fixture 11 is here. We're back in the orange because... Uh, they're playing, I think, in a white kit, the home team. So I was like, okay, well, we might as well go with the orange again. Loving that orange. It's, our, it's like our golden colour or something. But, um, yeah. Uh, I think Gavilan is on the bench for this one because he's on a red form arrow. And I think, is it George Lopez is starting this one? So a couple of changes there. David Villa is still going to be on the bench. However, Morientes and Angulo are both on red form arrows for this one. So hopefully... Um, this might go a bit better than the last one. Let's find out. Let's see what happens here. I think they've got D Diego Melito up front. Man, that brings back some memories, that one. <laughs> like, man, did, did he go to... Was it in... There was, like, two of them, wasn't there? There's Diego Melito, and there was, uh... Somebody else Melito. There was, there was two of them. I think they were brothers, weren't they? And one of them was, like, a forward, and one of them was the defender, I believe. Um... I'll, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to think what his name was, but you, you probably know who it was. So, yeah, here's Joaquin. Here's Morientes. And here's Morientes again. That was kind of not the right ball there, and that's going to go out. That's useless. There's Morientes, Gulos missed. Are you serious with that one? It just, it kind of went all wrong. He's hitting it with his left there, and he's going for the right post. Oh, God. Oh, my. I don't know what that header is. I don't know. Oh. That's uh, that's a close chance. Not really uh, much happening here. About almost 30 in, and we are we are playing like garbage again. I don't know what's happening to us. We, we're 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 hitting the collapse button for some reason. I don't get why. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, it's back out. It's fine. Here's Barraja. It's a builder. Morientes, Morientes making this run here, nicely done. Okay, maybe not so much the collapse, but yeah, it's taken, taken us a while. You know, compared to other games we've had where we've kind of maybe scored four or five or whatever, but we just kind of slowed a little bit. Maybe it is the stamina thing I was talking about, but nice finish by Morientes, that one just killed away. Lovely stuff. Just makes this run here past the defender into that open space and then just glides that past the keeper. In! In! Woo! 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 What was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, thank god for that. You legend! Oh my god! That was just a hit and hope situation, honestly. That was just like, you know what, just go for it. And then... Uh, I mean... You look at it, and you, this is what... I, you know in the last episode when I said the keeper just doesn't do anything? Or he just daps out, and this is another situation where it's just daps, I reckon. I don't know what the hell that was. It looked more to the right than it appeared. The keeper just didn't go for this at all. I have no clue. It's 
It's Morientes. Morientes! 3 0. He gains some space, he puts it away. I reckon that high form error might have done him some good there. Yeah, you know, I, I believe it improves a player's stats like temporarily for a game. Is it, isn't it like it improves them by like 25% or something ridiculous? Or like, it, or, or, I've heard something like that. I don't know exactly how it 100% works, personally. I've never really looked into it that much, but I feel like that helped him out here just based on the fact that he got through. And then he was able to just sort of like curl this away into the bottom corner. Oh, 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 and Gulo there with a chance. That was some decent play in the build-up, but uh, could not direct the head of that. Meanwhile, Gavilan is going to come on for Joaquin at this stage. Oh, 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 that would have been good. Oh, there's a foul there. Bleh. Oh, that is a <laughs> that is a good save. That one. I think it was off target anyway. But there was so, there was some decent play happening there, and uh, we are right at the end of the game. I think we've only used one sub. We ideally could do with a second uh but yeah that that's four nil that is the game more than sealed now is that angular's goal yeah it will be first one of today he's been trying but not really a lot happening for him um that barrage shot though i'm just like uh, i can't i still can't un understand the keeper's logic on that one it should have been an easy just take or even just even if it was just parried away you know you take it Oh, here's Angulo. He's got to get a shot away. Oh, nice save. Gabriel. Gabriel Melito. That was the guy, wasn't it? I'm sure it was him. <laughs> I'm sure it was him. Yeah, Edu on uh, and Albelda off. So that's pretty much that to do. For subs, Gavilan's got to take this one. And I think I, I almost thought the keeper's not going to do anything about that for a second. They are really making some questionable decisions, though, the keepers in the, the series so far. That is 4-0. We never really looked in trouble, uh, honestly. It's another win on the board. And Morientes is your man of the match today. Yeah, he got... I think it was just the one... No, it's two goals. I've, I can only remember one for some reason. Um, yeah, Barraja. I, I, I can't understand what that that shot even what it was just meant to be oh he's got some space he's got some time let's just have a crack at it and it was really probably not even meant to go in really it was just like you know what it's probably nowhere in a million years gonna go in but the keeper just did that massive derp and yeah good stuff everyone played pretty well to be fair We've had two away games in this episode, and this is the last game. It is going to be the only home one of this one, uh, and it is against Salta. So, yeah, welcome to this one, and uh, let's try and end it off with another positive. Um, yeah, we're four points clear now of Madrid. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to the uh, scores of league table standings in the last one honestly i wasn't even looking at it but uh, we'll take a look at what happened at the end of this episode as we always do uh ayala's in there uh via is actually starting this one which uh is probably a good thing because he probably should start more reggie is going to be with him up front because angulo needed a rest i believe and so did morientes i think angulo's on the bench though um so yeah, let's uh, let's get cracking with this one. Edu in the squad. He is at the right midfield tonight because apparently he can play there. And uh, yeah, we've got Silva starting another one on a red form arrow yet again, and he is on the left side. So yeah, let's. Uh, that's that. I think that's all the changes really. I think maybe there's a change in defence. I think Dalhorna's not playing this one. I think is it Moretti's in there for him. So we'll see. This could be bad. Are you telling me that was... 
Are you actually saying that was onside and he did that? Wow, we got a wheel with that. Edu. Oh. And this is good. Oh, it's right across the face of goal. No lucky deflection or anything. And, oh! I don't even know what that was. That is, that is luck and a half. Who took that shot there? They took it on the turn and it was nowhere near and it ended up in Reggie's path. I don't... That ended up being like one of the greatest passes <laughs> of this match anyway. <laughs> like this right here, who was it? Was that Sil Silver's shot is way off target, but it ended up being a, <laughs> a really good pass to Reggie, who then just shoots this. I mean, he's got to do something, hasn't he? And then it ends up in. Crazy. Oh, header by Via there. Just goes wide. It wasn't far off. Oh, damn, that's not good. Sell to find a way back into it right at half time as well, which is one of the worst times for them to do that. We've been playing well all game as well, to be honest. We've kept pressure on them. We've only found the one goal, which you probably agree it was a lucky one. And this here, just freaking George Lucas right here, honestly. George Lucas puts it into this guy and scores. No! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! What are we playing at? Oh my god, Miguel. You've got to... Oh, what a save. It's still not over. Oh my, oh, that's going to go for the corner. This is so, we have been so poor today. It really has been poor this game. You know, we're running out of time here to find a winning goal. Silver again. That is, uh, Silver's not being fantastic in this episode, honestly. He's coming off now for the centre. Navarro's coming on for, I want to say it's Miguel because he's, Energy is just absolutely at zero. Uh, so Ayala is going to go on to, I think, the left side of the defence just for the last few minutes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's David Villa. Can he do something? He's got a corner out of it. It's something. It's over. It's Sinti. It's Barasha. It's Machena. It's Reggie. Oh, something, something, something here. Just something, anything. A goal out of absolutely nothing. Oh, I think that's going to be full time. I think it could be Salto, the first team to stop us this season, which is not good because we were looking at the league table and we were saying... You know, we are four points clear. Let's keep it going. And uh, we've been held up here today. We had eight shots, three of which were on target. Miguel, bless him. Oh, my God. His energy was actually at zero. Uh, we had to bring him off near the end there. Uh, really should have done it early. I was thinking about it at half time, but we kept him on. Um, Kira Torres was the man of the match with a seven. God knows how. <laughs> um... Reggie, I mean, Reggie was trying, his pace on a red format is actually really good. Via was, again, really poor to do in this one. Silver didn't maybe have his best game, you know, he, he was okay, he was trying at first, but then we just brought him off to try and...
balls to things and it just didn't work out there. Yeah, Edu was on the right of the midfield. Maybe that's not a good idea, but based on the stamina I've seen in the team, it just maybe had to happen. Um, damn is all I can say. Damn you. George Lucas. Anyway, results time. This is what happened. Real Madrid 5 and uh, Recreativo 1. Uh, this was fixture 10, by the way. Uh, what else happened? Uh, Barcelona, where are they? There, They won 2-0 against Getafe there. So that's that. Uh, moving ahead to fixture 11. Uh, Barcelona and Madrid. Oh, yeah, they were playing each other, didn't weren't they? I totally forgot about that. It was 2-2. We, I think... Um, because... Uh, uh, I, I don't think I said it in the last episode, but I kept thinking to myself afterwards, a draw would actually be best, <laughs> and it actually happened, so, yeah, problem, it, well, I mean, we did win that same game week, 4-0 uh, against Zaragoza, however, we could not um, get the points there, Madrid and Barca both won as we drew this week, so they've caught up to us by a couple of points, which is bad, but even with that, we should still be top, so let's have a look at it. Uh, yeah, we are top. We would have been on 36 by now. Oh, I'm so depressed about that draw. I really am. Like, I know we're top of the league, but I'm still depressed about it because we could have been on 36. We could have still been four ahead. Unfortunately, we are not. Uh, Madrid have scored 31 goals. So you, you think, oh, well, we've scored a lot of goals on 41, but Madrid have actually put 31 in. Uh, in what? 12 games has it been now um so yeah that's about as much as it goes for today gymnastics still bottom there get getafe still down there um if you care about the bottom half of the table severe a 13th i believe we've got them coming up next so yes uh deportivo i mean they're, they're a pretty tough team though they're six currently so yeah where are celta the ninth uh, they've moved up because of that point, but uh, yeah, I'm really like, rah, you know what I mean? I'm really raw about that one. Angula and Van Nistelrooy are top of the uh, goal scoring table here, and Morientes has got 10 already. David Villa's only got 6, <laughs> so yeah, this is if you care about the assists and whatnot. Joaquin, he's joint top with Iniesta with 5 each, so yeah, not going to show you the bottoms of them, but uh, this is what is coming up for you in the next episode. we got Sevilla away, whereas Real Madrid are taking on Villarreal, could be a tough one. Hopefully Villarreal could do something there, potentially. Barcelona are at Real Zaragoza. Um, i got Athletic Club coming up which is at home and Madrid have got uh, Deportivo, Barcelona are at Real Sociedad and then finally it'll be Levante for us, we're at home for that one um, Barcelona playing Sevilla, could be tough never know, probably not they probably win but you know Real Madrid are at Osasuna, so yeah, that is what is happening in the next episode guys, probably Sevilla will be the uh, one of that episode which is the full game so yeah join us for that one next time i am so i can't believe that celta i mean come on celta of all teams i mean they are they're a good team to be fair so whatever uh yeah join us for severe next time guys and the other two games correct subscribe and share as always if you want to see you then take care